Okay, so I'm just going to run over this uh, Navionics uh, Boating HD app, which is for anybody who wants to sort of, um, if they're new to a waterway or not familiar with a waterway, in low visibility you'd probably use these maps. At night time you definitely want to use some sort of mapping system in your boat, otherwise you can get lost and you can't see many of the markers, cardinal marks and different markers that you need to know. Um, if it's in, if you've got a lot of sand banks or shallow water around, it's definitely good to use this because it's got the boat two, um, the boat two, which is uh, it'll take you from the spot where you want uh, to the place you want to go. You just hit a marker, a couple of markers, and then it boats to that particular spot where you want to go to. So it's very useful. Um, so I'll run through the app. Uh, first thing you want to do is probably put in the, the boat configuration so it knows the draft and the width of your boat and the height of the boat just in case you've got a, a high sail or something so it's definitely good to put those in. So you hit the menu down the bottom there and this comes up and what you would do is hit the me and boat configuration. So I've got my boat configuration in here which is only the length is 4.6 you can just tap that if you want to you can put in sailboat or or paddle up the top there um the, the beam that's how wide the boat is so if, if i click on that it'll actually tell you um which means the width so that's already done draft the boat is from the bottom of the actual boat itself to where the water level um comes to on your on the side of the boat so uh, especially with the prop you'd probably want to measure that with the prop down so you wouldn't want to collect any rocks or anything like that with the prop down so I've got it just set at um, 0 0.5 meters and of course the length of the boat which I suppose it wouldn't really matter but uh, it's definitely the beam the draft and the, the is the main consideration but put the whole lot in uh, it doesn't matter when you're in sandbanks and stuff like that. So I'll go back out into the main menu. Take the menu off there. So <clears throat> the map location we've got at the moment is Botany Bay in Sydney. And as you can see, if all you do is uh, if you want to zoom in, you can hit these two buttons on the side here, which is the positive or negative which you'll zoom in, or you can just pinch pinch zoom. So you grab it with your two fingers and zoom in. So as you can see, it's quite detailed. There's many markers around. There's the, um, there's the red markers, and the green markers for staying in the channel, channel markers. And you've got cardinal marks, the cardinal marks are around different locations. You've got rocks, which are, um, in different spots as well so you want to know their location and as you can see there there's a cardinal mark there so you <clears throat> that's like keep left or keep right of whatever particular mark but uh, a useful thing in this particular app is the boat too as I was explaining from the beginning so if you're in a large boat and it's at night time you want to boat to the place that you're going pretty safely and this will actually take your boat to that particular spot through the proper channels and through the proper direction or way from the, from the sandbanks so uh, you're not going to get stuck on any sandbanks but it'll definitely take you right through the particular channels I'll show you that right now so if I just zoom out for a minute and just say from our particular location which is that little red triangle there it's not really accurate at the moment because um, I'm actually inside but it'll be somewhere near the location I am just say I want to boat to a particular spot now let's try a spot right out here okay so if I just tap on the screen this crosshairs will come up and click on the, the question mark and it's got the boat to there so if I click boat to it's already plotted out the actual course we're going to take and I'll show, we'll go back through that course right now so there's the course there and what I want to see is there there's the channel markers so it's actually taken us through the channel markers there which is where we want to go 
through the deep water through all these channel markers here away from the sand bank which is the green spot in the middle there and all we do then is say go and it will take us all you have to do then is follow that particular blue line with your red one so there we go there off it go and all we do then is turn around and we just um we just follow that line so that's very very useful it's particularly at night time i've come in from watching fireworks at night time and i've had the wife and baby in the in the boat and without that particular this particular app it would be very hairy with all the other boats going in as well to try and navigate through those channels and find your way back to the boat ramp so that's a very good thing to use uh, we'll actually stop that route now get me get out of that and we'll have to actually clear it and also you'll see in the corners it'll it'll actually tell you the estimated distance that you're going to travel and what time you'll actually arrive as well so delete that okay So we're back out into the main menu now. So a couple of the things that we need to know on the screen here is <clears throat> it's actually got a few different things on there which I don't want. So I've got to close that particular route. Stop the route. Okay, we're back to square one. So we'll just zoom back in. And <clears throat> a couple of things that you want to know about this app is that you can mark distance as well. So um if I click down here in the bottom right hand corner this will come up and this can tell me the distance which I want to know say if I'm traveling from this location at a bridge out to one of these points here and I can see 4.5 nautical miles and it's heading of 69 degrees <clears throat> so that does come in handy to use this particular uh, measuring tool so I'll turn that off now. Um, <clears throat> there are other locations you can find with this. So if you look around a bit, you might find some fishing spots that might be useful to go to. So if I zoom in there, I can see those fishing marks. So that's right here. If I click on that, and if I click on this, and also that one, it just says fishing hotspot and diamond uh, fishing spot. Um, the Bommy, which is a, a sort of a, a low area which breaks there a lot. But it doesn't actually say what particular fish, but you can just go from these if you want to. Not many people like to share their fishing locations, but um, there are a few in here that can see just four around Bear Island here. So <clears throat> they are useful. And you can put your own markers there as well. Uh, if you do sync this, I'm just showing the menu it's syncing now it does upload those locations so if you want to keep that personal then you can actually say don't sync and go back to the menu again what else we've got um, if you want to search for a location <coughs> or search for something up in the top left hand corner you'll see a little search button so if you click on that um, <coughs> Right at the top there, next to search, you'll see latitude. If you're in trouble and you need to know the exact location where you're at, you can click that location there, latitude, longitude, and it'll come up with their exact longitude and latitude, and you can give those coordinates over radio or whatever. Um, <clears throat> markers, that's the markers I've put in. If I click that, these some of these markers come up. I don't I really need to use that, but sometimes I'm at different locations and I put some markers in which I need to know like the where the boat ramp was or where I'm boating to um, if I click on fuel stations that might be pretty important as well I click that and as you can see the fuel stations have come up which will be the closest one to me so I know exactly where that is and I can just click on that as well and say boat 2 
So <clears throat> that's pretty convenient to use that. If I go back in there. There's a lot of things in there, shops, bars, restaurants, some people just put their, add it, add it to the actual things themselves. So, some of them are important, some of them aren't, so if I click on bars and restaurants, a whole list will come up there, St George River Sailing Club, which is no longer there. Uh, actually, George's River Sailing Club is. St George Sailing Club is no longer there, it's, it's in the process of being built at the moment, so... That's not really applicable, but yeah, there's a lot of things in there that you might actually search for, and and if they're actually on the waterway, some are, some people have just added their business just to try and get drum up some few few um people coming into their restaurants, which are not even on the waterway. You've actually got to get out of the boat somewhere and walk ten minutes or something. But there is a lot of close ones, uh, currents, lakes, uh, tides are pretty useful. So there's different tide levels there that you can actually see. Um, so if I click on one of them, uh, let's click on Port Hacking. So if I click that, then the tide chart will come up the bottom there and you can just scroll with your finger when the next tide is. So that's pretty useful as well, as long as you're not in a location where you're not receiving internet, then you would have previously sort of synced that before you went into that location and then you would have seen like if you're say going up the southwest arm or something you won't actually get any tide information whatsoever because there's no internet up there so previously you'd open up the app anyway and it'd usually sync everything before um, you get up there so the day's information or tide charts will be with you so let's go back out again what else have we got Rulers, zoom, uh, mark, marking locations. So I'll just zoom back out, zoom back out, and we'll go back up to Botany Bay. That's in Port Hacking there. If I want to mark a location, <clears throat> now if I'm boating to a particular location now, all I do is hit this button over to the side here, which is the marker button, like that. And it's going to mark my spot. So there's the mark there. If I zoom in there, it would be marked on the spot. So I have to delete those later because we're actually on land there. Um, if I click this center button here down to the bottom left, um, it's on sonar charts at the moment, but I can open up uh, map options. And what's a particular thing that I use a lot is the course up. So at the moment, you can see it's on north up. Uh, you've got head up in the middle or course up now If I was traveling if it's north up and I'm traveling south Then the, the, the sort of map is going to be around the wrong way for me. I want to see what I'm, I'm driving up to so I usually choose course up and That will take you on the direction or heading and the maps will show that you're coming to that particular location with the course up um <clears throat> Other things in here, don't really need, you don't, I usually have it on no overlay. If you're using satellite overlay, then you're gonna be requesting that information and there's probably a lot of downloads, so just put on no overlay. <clears throat> Unless you wanna download that data beforehand and save it with a satellite set. So you don't really need that set. I don't know why. I'll show you right now what, what I mean. So I'm asking, requesting for satellite. And to get that satellite information, there's satellite now information coming through. It's going to need a lot of data because you're actually downloading those images from, I suppose, Google or something. But as you can see, it's quite slow at the moment trying to get that information. So the best thing to do with, is to probably request that information before you go. So you go into the map downloads and request that information as you go. But I don't use it because I know that the yellow, once I go back to no overlay, I know the no overlay color is yellow and that's land so I want to keep away from that. So uh, that's better for me, better option for me. Uh, what else we've we got here? Easy view. That's probably the 
most things that I do use easy view I don't go into that you can go into the fishing wood levels shallow areas what what you want it set at different things like that I haven't actually got I haven't actually turned it on at the moment so no live setting settings so that's the basics of it the little camera button up the top right hand corner there is if you want to take a photo you can do that if you want just take some different photos and it allows people to actually see um, that location where you're at it's probably good if you're at a nice location one day and you take a photo and you can put it up on that server so other people can see it it's probably good if it's a drone um, photo and <clears throat> the rest of it's down here which is just the menu uh, you got your tracks there, the routes, the markers uh, chart upgrades, that's if you've bought the app and you want to upgrade to different versions of the of the maps some some are cheap cheaper and some are quite expensive for the 3D maps um, delete maps, map options, weather and tides so that's in the main menu connect device, I think you can connect a few different devices usually a plotter or something and Submit feedback, you don't really need any of that, so we'll close that up again. So that's basically it, but um, I do recommend this app. It's great for, I'm using it on a tablet at the moment, so it is really useful, especially if you've got it on a big screen. And I've got one option as well, so if I go to menu, and if you go into um, settings, <clears throat> second from the top there is screen on sometimes you've got the your screen might time out and all of a sudden you're driving along and your maps have turned off because the screen's off and you can't see anything so I usually turn the screen on and keep that on um, that's about it I think that's the basic the basics of it so <clears throat> if you wanted to know about Navionics boating marine and lakes app um, then this is just a quick interview into into introduction into that so um, I hope this helps thanks very much and thanks for watching